Again, folks, conspiracy theorists going wild this morning after Scotland Yard launched a new probe into the death of Princess Diana, if you can believe it, all these years later. The new theory that British special forces were involved in the death of the people's princess. Imogen Lloyd Webber is an author and commentator and entertainment reporter, and you and I, Imogen, have the similar reaction uh, to this story. There's a brand new movie coming out, and I said, I think somebody at the, who produced that movie has some friends at, at Scotland Yard to gin up the old publicity machine. Well, it's exactly that, and it's sort of like clockwork, isn't it? Every year we approach the anniversary of Diana's death on the 31st yeah. of August. Of course, she died in 1997, and there's another conspiracy theory. I think at one moment there were 35,000 conspiracy websites out there. This is just yet another one. Apparently, it's a very erratic witness, but because there's a connection to the military, the military police passed it on to Scotland Yard, to the UK police, and they're looking into its credibility. But I think we'll find that this incredible allegation is completely uncredible. I mean, it's the first time also that we've seen this bus driven, so to speak, not by Dodi Fayed's father. Uh, and he was the one who was yeah. behind the whole pageant investigation and convinced mm -hmm. that Prince Philip was behind it and that Prince Philip orchestrated the murder of Princess Diana. Um, so some people are saying that, you know, well, maybe there's something to it because it came from this outside source. There were three exhaustive investigations into Diana's death, both in the UK and in France, and every single one separately came to the same conclusion. It was a tragic accident. The driver had been drinking and was speeding. When I say exhaustive, one of these investigations involved 250 witnesses, yes. lasted over 90 days at a cost of $12 million. This is, uh, you just feel so sorry that you can't let her rest in peace. It's yeah. one of those things, isn't it? And when you think back to the motivation and the circumstances of, of that night, yeah. I mean, you know, that driver was brought in at the last minute. Mm -hmm. He had been, he had six drinks, I think, at yeah. the bar before they left. He was also on some kind of prescription medication. So, I mean, to orchestrate something like that, which had so many sort of variables in it, in terms of who was driving the car and you know seems extremely and, difficult to believe. And her seatbelt, whether she was she wasn't wearing a yeah. seatbelt, I mean that finally was her decision and you just feel so sorry for her poor boys who were there carrying on yeah. her legacy doing her work. Prince Harry was in Angola last week carrying on her work with landmines. Of course we've just had that interview with Prince William talking about Prince George, Diana's first grandchild and it would just be lovely if we could focus on the future but it's it's hard. Yeah, I mean, it, it does feel like people want to sort of go back there. She's on the cover of Vanity mm -hmm. Fair magazine, and as we said, there's this big brand new yeah. movie coming out with Naomi Watts, which, um, you know, the trailer's out. You can take a look at it and see whether you think, you know, that was the, the right choice uh, and how that movie's going to be. There's a little bit of it uh, at the top of this, you know, very dramatic, very, uh, it's all about the love story with Hosnick Khan and all of that. We'll see how successful that is. But they're destined to be an exhaustive uh, interest in this story. Diana is Britain's JFK. These yeah, conspiracy theories point. are going to be around forever. She's on Marilyn, so it's always going to be there. She died young, there's this fascination. Um, but you do just wish that she could be left to rest in peace, and no wonder her boys have that smiling hatred of the media that they do. Yeah, and, and you know, as you point out, they've done a good job of kind of reviving the monarchy. Uh, and you, I, I would imagine the royal family's reaction to this is, you know, not again, right? Well, we thought we were past this. We won't be having any official reaction, so they will just be focusing on moving forward. Because again, these are just incredible allegations that will be proven uncredible. Imogen, thank you. You're incredible. <laughs> we love having you on. Thank, thank you, very you very much, much Martha. All right.